Hi, everybody, and welcome to the party. My name is Kevin, and I'll be your GM for this game of riffs in which the team invades Christmas. Roar! Yeah. Taking! Fuck you, Christmas! Christmas! So we're going to go around and introduce uh, ourselves and our characters, and I'm going to start as pretty much always with Jovra. Hi, I'm Michelle, and I'm playing Jovra, an Atlantean artifact hunter with some family stuff going on, and she has a familiar, well, it's more than a familiar, but basically a, a bond with a, a dragon, a little dragon named Sarsig. Thank you. Sorry, there's... All right, and hello. Uh, my name is Maxine Bachman, also playing today. Uh, hello, the SciTech Ecto Traveler, who we are all in search to find my body. And I'm lovable and emotionally confused. And in we most ways, just confused. We all are. All right, <laughs> Harkins. Hi, my name is Kate in Mid Barrett, and I'll be playing Artemola this evening. No, I'm totally kidding. I should... What do you? I I'm it. Sean. I was was you got it? Yeah, I did the I whole going... thing. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go for it. Artemola was say, my favorite part of that. Yeah. yeah. If you're gonna steal any identities, you can probably do better than mine. I'm just gonna yeah. tell you, it's it's the market value on it way low right now. I know. Ooh. I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyways, hi, I'm Sean. I'm playing Harkins. He is a Sislinger who used to not be a Sislinger. Um, and so he has other weird things, too. Uh, yeah, that's me. All right, Jericho Jack. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm Evan, and I'm playing Jericho Jack, a um, mercenary human who rides a big motorcycle that has saw blades for wheels, and he's the leader of the group. He is not the leader of the group. Well, you know. Tomato, tomato. All uh, right. We are, unfortunately, um, Kate, me, and Midair couldn't be with us to play Iola, so I will be generally controlling what Iola does. And uh, let's we move on. We believe in you. Uh, she is a wizard, th a half fairy wizard thief. I will right. make sure to have a heart. She steals with her. wizards. Yeah, we're all. Can we all make That's sure a fact, that we have a, a heart to heart with Iola? To, like uh, this, this was the week we were going to do that. So <laughs> be ready. <laughs> I just put Kevin on this. <laughs> Artemis, no, no, we're not doing that. Artemis, I could start a love triangle with my with two of my own characters with her while she's not here. Ooh, ooh! Haven't you already done that? I thought you already did that. Kind of. Um, I don't ask. She just does this to my characters. I don't even shout outs to Kate for not being here. Love you, miss you. Wish you could be here. Uh, hey folks, I'm Fox Barrett at Fox underscore Barrett on Twitter. Uh, tonight I will be playing Artemis, who has no idea what she's doing here at this point. She's an Amazon from the Amazon. Yeah. Jungle. All right. So real quick, I just want to give a shout out to our sponsors. Um, Roll20.net is an amazing sponsor, uh, and we are using it for this game as well as most of the other games on the channel. We also are sponsored by So Nerdware. It's what the nerds wear. Uh, tabletop loot for gear. Uh, so Nerdware is our merch. And RueInc.com is the greatest, the greatest maps this side of Wild Mountain. They really are. Because true. she did the maps for Wild Mount. It's true. Yeah, it's awesome. Yep. All right. Not wrong. So, last time, the group had uh, entered the Hall of Presidents and met with the Army of the American Republic, uh, a group that sought to find a bunch of old warriors who were rumored to be in stasis and were opposed by some kind of psychotic robot brain from before the apocalypse. It's real that weird. Tracks that tracks. It's Tuesday and around here. <laughs> Iola had found out that their her kind of parent figure Riley was working with this group, and uh, the group has agreed to assist the Iron Riders in getting them to Christmas, Florida, and into a former NEMA base, where it is oh not NEMA base, a former Cyberworks facility where it is yeah yeah that's the face people should be making if they know all right uh it'll be fine it'll yes. be yeah, fine. everything right. is gonna go exactly as planned there's Always no does. angels here so I... <laughs> it's a thing all right so <laughs> there's uh so uh, they're looking for mac the uh, hello's <laughs> physical body as hello is a ball of goo that often inhabits robots or what looking for. 
uh, as the group began to march, um, the the uh, Army of the American Republic soldiers, including their commander, whose name is on the other page of my notes somewhere. Crap. It's General my girlfriend. Specific. Yeah, General. I like that. No. Yara Gale. Yara Gale. That was that was the uh, commander. Yara Gale. Yay for note takers. You are our savior. And uh, uh, Yara Gale came up out of <laughs> underneath the um, snack stand next to the Hall of Presidents in the Magic Kingdom, uh, wearing a suit of glitter boy armor, which is a ten foot tall shining chrome form with a cannon about, you know, nine feet long strapped to it and it's rockets on the back. Ten feet tall? Yeah. Damn. Next to it is another one as well. Um, as the group comes out, uh, you see Ada, the arms master, come up and she goes, you, you're making me nervous and she points over at Jovra. Come here. Okay. Yes. Uh, she, she goes. You're one of those magic users, right? Yes. Cool. Uh, she grabs a suit of Republic armor, Army of the Republic armor. Pops the arms and the le and like the legs piece off. She's like, I can't put you in full full armor, but here, have a chest plate. And just like slaps it onto you. Before you like, if you start to go, well, no, it just doesn't matter. She's just gonna throw it on you. I have a chest plate. Yes. Oh, wow. Okay. It provides uh, 80 MDC. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, actually, along those lines, weird question. How many hours has it been since um, I got blowed up by our robot friend? I know it's been at least eight. It's been a day. Not this robot Roughly friend. Roughly a day. Roughly a day? Okay, that should do me then. I have to heal. That is true. Armor. You did yeah. lose some MDC that you needed to heal back. It true. It true. All right. So let me stop looking at that and start looking at this. Uh, they're like, okay, everybody. We'll be there in about three minutes because we're going to go slowly. Okay, yeah, I healed enough. Yay. And uh, when you want us to start laying down... Send any signal towards us via the radios or whatever, and we will lay down some cover fire. Now, the recon report had said that there was a gigantic croc, a gigantic alligator there, and uh, and a bunch of alligator humanoids and barbarians. Oh, the barbarians, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. and some Red of them are alligator humanoids. I think I mentioned that. I don't remember if I did or not. Gator remember, people. And the remember a bunch of eco itself. wizards. Yeah. Yeah, giant alligator. Yeah, eco and, wizards. Yeah, there's yeah. one or two eco wizards, and the group calls itself the Red Caps. All right. It's not great. And they eat sentience. Yeah. Well, it, it's yeah. highly suspected that they are some kind of cannibalistic. Yes. Well, are they cannibals if they're gator people? They also eat their own dead. That's cannibalism. Okay. <laughs> done. All the right. gross AF, either way. Y'all been and gone and done it. Right. I mean, I don't know. They might not be able to grow food. Not my problem. They still gross. There's plenty of people who are surviving in a dino swamp without Eat his meat. Without that. But it's half the fun. <laughs> All right. So okay. the plan was to go into Christmas, Florida, make your way to the uh, to the base, which it seems like these people have not breached or know about. Um, well, our, our friends the, in the Republican army or whatever. Yes. Uh, the army provide, of the Republic. Yes. The army of the Republic provide cover fire and a distraction for the red caps. Yes. Yeah. Now, Riley was going to join you, but was not like obligated to tell the Republic, the Army of the Republic, anything. Um, yeah. But you know, kind of to give you all confidence. So, 
they're on this giant hover platform, or it's not. This one's actually more like a giant fan boat with uh, two glitter boys side by side on it. And as you come in, uh, there's you go over what is a very deep river, which used to be some kind of highway, but is now just an entire stream of water and rock. Uh, it, you cross it pretty easily with your technology and hover stuffs, and yeah, there's a hover car. Two of you have hover, or one of you has a hover bike. The other has a um, hover horse, a robo horse that can fly. I have a tank, and so I you have easily. A fly, a robo horse. I just need to keep reminding you all of the beauty of the McFly. Just. Oh, and Beautiful. piloting the McFly is Hello Hello. Which which outfit, quote unquote, are you wearing into the, this fight? The TV body until we get closer. The uh, TV body, okay. Until we get closer, like. Well, you're gonna, gonna be like, there okay, in like thirty seconds. Oh, yeah. Then I'm definitely in the. In the. All right. So in this town, um, there is a big spiked, like barricaded spike barricade pointed out mostly wall uh as you it's pretty flat in this area and you can see quite a distance you're kind of at a tree line right now and crossing the intermediary and getting over the spiked wall probably won't be hard for you but beyond it you see a a, a crock an alligator shape that is 10 feet tall and from where you're looking, appears to be about 200 feet long. <laughs> Slowly turn the car around. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's a middle, statue. It hasn't. It hasn't moved, and it doesn't. Oh, you guys have like optics. So uh, that it looks like a building, kind of. It looks like someone built that one. Okay. And. Also, a bit of a ways around, a uh, bit of a ways away, there is a, a twenty-foot tall uh, evergreen tree, just covered in bones and shining baubles. Awesome. And in front of that is like a ten-foot tall uh, statue of a man with a a big, fluffy red hat and an enormous belly, and in front of him is laid a number of what appear to be uh, presents and gifts and offerings. Greg is weird. Some sort of god or something? Yeah, it local looks deity. like... Yeah, it's it head is worship. painted red and has They're a white bringing... ball on the end. They're I wonder if it's some sort of so. some blood thing, yeah. That must be why they're called the red caps. Right, because he's got the red cap on them. Yeah, sense. they probably, it's probably yeah. like covered in, they probably soaked that shit in blood. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, uh. All right, well, let's be careful. I right, wonder where why. Where you need to go is a bit on the other side of that gator or giant crocodile. Or Can we go it through it? Gator. You said it's a building. Is it a building or is it like a statue? From where you see, it's a building. Did but you guys want to cut? There was also an enormous heat signature nearby as well. Oh. Do you guys want to cut through any of the buildings, or do, you, do we just want to go? I think we should try and be as circumspect as possible, moving our way over there. So uh, are you going to continue on your hovercraft, or are you going to go on foot? Or I think we need to go on foot from this point on. That's fine. I agree. Yeah. Profile works for me. Okay. So, hello. We're, we're getting out of the vehicles. Would you like me to stay inside to bring the vehicle behind you or retreat myself? Are you in your are you in your, your big boy suit or your TV suit? Harmony. Suit. Uh, Who harmony? assist us today? Okay. Uh, you could probably go on foot then. That thing's pretty tough. Yeah. yeah. I was more meaning if you would like the vehicle with us, then the McFly may follow. No, I don't. I don't want to bring it. We That's a bigger quiet. profile than we want to. Understood. Oh. Uh, I was like, <laughs> cool. I'll, just, I'll fly above the muck. And Riley's like, yeah, yeah, it's cool. I don't mind a short walk. I'm pretty stealthy. 
Uh, Riley is wearing the uh, full not is wearing the full armor of the Army of the Republic. It's a full body environmental armor, and it is very much reminiscent of the classic Nima body armor from before the coming of the Rifts. It's not right. fully powered, but it augments. Does it look like, based on what I'm looking at Riley's loadout and what Riley's wearing, does it look like Riley's more of like a scout or a heavy or like a, can I kind of tell what their, what their expertise is just by Give sort of- Give me a uh, recognized weapon quality. You could just ask. Hey, hey, Tuck, what are you good at? <laughs> oh no. He's got to stare at her for a while. That's what's happening. He wants them. to stare, stare at them. 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 Sorry, them. Cool. Just make, just make him hella nervous. Hmm. Uh, skill, right? Okay. Recognize weapon quality. You're not really sure. They got a, they have a rifle and a, and a sidearm and a whole bunch of tools. Hey, Riley. What? You sneaky? Yeah. All right. Can you scout ahead and uh, give us some intel on uh, enemy movements or anything up ahead? Well, I can't turn by the gator. If you need someone to run I thought you were a fairy. I can, I can do that. I look no. Jack. I thought you were a fairy. Didn't you raise, didn't you raise Isla? I don't get it. We'll explain it to you later, Jack. Um, okay. All right. So Isla uh, goes invisible and does uh, that normal better. scout routine. <laughs> well, I wanted to use the expendable one, but that's all right. Meaning Isla. No, right. meaning Ryan. Does amazingly well. Um, <laughs> it's not Hachi, Hachi. There is actually 11. a ley line running through and meeting at the base of that tree. Ooh. I look right at Jobra. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Which you you are now clo- you are well within a mile of this place. So, yes, you can feel the power from it. Okay. Uh, but that also means that if there's fucking eco wizards or whatever. Yes. The then, that means that, then that means that they're strong too, right? Yes. Jova, do you have anything that's specifically good against nature-based things? Like fire uh. or fire type things? I don't I don't know what eco wizards can do. I don't depends. like things, that's for sure. <laughs> it depends on what your specialty is. Mm. I I have lightning and other things. Well, I feel like lightning kills almost everything, right? So that'll, that, that'll be good. G- generally. Most things are weak to lightning or allergic to lightning. All right. Okay, so she's scouting ahead. Did she see any enemies? Uh, she comes, she's flying through. She's do- doing a great job. And she sees a small group of warriors, of the uh, alligator-looking people warriors, um, at a fire, okay. uh, and there is a number of like kind of low lying or not low lying, but uh, raised huts in the area too. They're okay. not exactly four star living, but it looks like they found like prefabbed homes, jacked them up onto some pillars. Is it a trailer park? Yes, it's a trailer park. Yes! Parts of it have been augmented, <laughs> but it's a trailer park that they took and then put about oh. five feet up. So it's so, a bunch of tree houses. It's, it's a trailer tree park. Tree park. It's, a tr- yeah. it's a trailer park. Tree- oh, God. Damn. That's good. <laughs> the trailer park. There we go. Welcome to the trailer park. Yeah. Boys. Look, I don't say much in this what I do. <laughs> when I do. <laughs> That's true, actually. You talk a okay. lot, mostly about your Zoom. It's true. Anyhow. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, she just turns that sucker on. <laughs> we don't talk, we just do. Which, by the way, hello, no <laughs> Zoom on this one. This is a quiet yes. mission. Um, I'm gonna oh, nip that Iron... in the bud right now before you do it later. Iron uh, Riders, we don't talk, we just do. <laughs> yeah. We don't think, we just do. Again, hashtag not wrong. <laughs> Quit it with your right, so... thinking. There is a number of these trailer huts up, uh, raised up above parts of Gooey Gooey Swamp. So we're looking at a housing. We're looking at their their housing. They're like commons where they sleep. Yeah. We're looking at a camping area. And there's the ruins of a couple of buildings. Ruins, not R U N E S, R U I N S. 
of a couple of buildings, including what looks to be some kind of town hall that is now just like four pillars and a set of steps, where it looks like it was like a town hall with pillars in the front and the rest of the town hall is just gone. Okay. Remind me, our objective is in the town or past the town? It is in the town. It is a couple blocks. Uh, it's now a little bit past the town, but it's still, all right, it's technically in the town. You see that okay. the housing kind of expands into a couple of buildings that looks like they used to be much, much bigger. Okay. And uh, kind of the, the trailers go up into like the fourth floor where parts of the building have just been cleaved off. What's our like visibility and time of day for this? Like, um, are we going morning. in under the cover of new? Okay, the cover of daylight. <laughs> All right. So the I, I just think we should so sweep bright. around as, as oh. much as we can. Like, yes. Make a big old semicircle around where we need to be. Um, we could actually uh, call in that diversion now that we know yeah. where they are. And I would, if we do, I would just ask that we don't do it where they all live because that's probably where there's like babies and shit so maybe let's hit in Jack, like when an area grow a conscious not not i don't know it's not the time but i i, I just want to take a, a moment this has been a weird day I, and no, i've I, just had yes. a lot of shit yeah. happen to me at once and i just feel I like that. i just feel like listening to babies melt is the last thing i need right now i just you know, want to say I call it's me progress. weak i don't know no 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 no, no. you know i think it's check. progress should we bomb the babies i'm we should we not bomb, bomb the babies no. i'm just saying all i wanted to do was say i appreciate your sentiment I, i'm very impressed that you have recognized that we should not bomb and melt babies i think well that that's is, thank you that thank is a you. growth moment no i'm trying i, <laughs> I do reasonable feel it's worth keeping in mind, however, these people probably don't have any separation between civilian and military populations. Something to keep in mind here. Right. I mean, I can't blow up a barracks when it's everybody's homes. Well, that's what I'm saying. Don't don't blow up the barracks or the homes at all. We could probably, if we aim for, what if we blow I mean, up the red shit, these statues? Th that's a good fucking idea. <laughs> that is blow up their weird fat idea. god. Yeah. That's good. That's good. And all their presents and whatever. Yeah, and if they're alligator people, why do they worship a, a man with a big... Whatever. We should blow it up. I mean, whatever. Uh, you can I, see you know, the water around kind of like the town maybe a personification. move a bit. As I'm some gonna, kind of thing... What do you mean move? Like, to have, like, there's, a couple, there's a couple of feet of water. Yeah. And it huh. kind of ripples a little. Is it like a moat or is it I, just like... It's just in the town. The oh, town's okay. mostly flooded. Gotcha. And we just we saw the water move, but like didn't see anything in the water moving. Is what you're saying? Correct. Was there like right, a I turn on doo -doo -doo. see the? I turn, I turn on, on see the invisible. See the invisible. Like immediately. Yeah. Um. We're an invisible giant alligator. Let me just check the water again. Because I don't think it covers everything, but it is a. Every good time thing. I go to Christmas Town. Every time. I just want to see Santa. That's <laughs> probably oh, my character sheet at this point. Yeah, right. <laughs> when, he, when he asked for a skill, I was like, okay, oh, I didn't even open roll 20. Whoops. <laughs> like, <Yeah. I'm> like, <laughs> We're not having a, a okay. Mamby Pamby session this time, guys. It's, it's, it's going shit. down, bro. <laughs> going down tonight. Oh. <laughs> all right. I like my we'll Pamby. start to see, um, <laughs> you all start to see, see the invisible doesn't, it's good to have. Uh, and yeah. as you turn on See the Invisible, you actually see... Uh, roll a d20, actually, real quick. Sure, I'd love to roll a d20. You will get something I'll... on any roll, but... Blop a doo that's a 12. All right, 12. More than you need to. Blop All right, day. so you see that in a couple of trees, there are what are essentially hunting blinds with what now looks to you like dinosaur skin over it. <laughs> huh. Oh. But without See the Invisible, it just looked like tree. Uh, yeah, I kind of hoot. Hey, everybody. Uh, give people a heads up and point out the trees. <laughs> hoot, hoot. What? There's two hoot. of those. One on the west, one on the east side of town. What? What are uh, you looking at? Camouflage, concealment of some kind up in the trees. Couldn't see it before I turned on See the Invisible. Look out. Oh, That's masked to regular eyes somehow. All right, so I have an idea. Why don't we? We got rockets, right? We got something we can, like, lob over at them. We got, like, boom guns, don't we? Well, yeah, but that's more of a straight line sort of. 
proposition. I mean, they got they they probably got a salvo. You know, they probably got like right. a good couple of little cluster bombs or something. So what I'm saying is, we mock those two targets, and we mock the the Santa Claus, and we have it hit all three at the same time, get it moving in every direction at once, which should hopefully create enough plan. confusion for us to make it past them without any problems. You just want to make sure that the confusion is over there and we're going this way. So whatever path we choose, let's just make sure that whatever is the issue, just, we're not bombing that yes. area because they're yeah. going to come swarming or even even really close to yeah, it. Yeah. So yeah. if we hit those three, then let's find the route that is as far away from those three things, but still on the way to where we need to go. Can is I figure, figure out what that Kevin? path is, Kevin? Yes. Um, How would I do that? Land navigation, you sure. say? Give me a land nav. I have intelligence if you think that'd help. Uh, give me that intelligence roll real quick. Sure. My land. I want to roll smart. That's on the intelligence check. All right. Damn. So, uh, as far as barbarian tribes go, they tend to excel in melee and not do great at range. Same um, TBH. Yeah. Uh, also, alligators tend to grab and try to drag. Hmm. Like they drown you. A lot alligators of the time. try to drag people underwater and thrash mm -hmm. them about. That is I keep correct. saying hovercraft as a skill that I have, and I keep reading it as Lovecraft. It was like, how is Lovecraftian horror a skill check? <laughs> it's not it's right here. Well, I know. Right here. <laughs> like, my brain is like, this is totally okay, but that's not what it is. Not for this scenario, but, no. but maybe somewhere else. All right. I kind of want a Lovecraftian check. So you guys are coming from the west. Uh, where you need to go is f a little further. Is east of you okay. and a little bit south much further south is one of those blinds much north is one of those blinds and the tree is kind of directly west from you or directly east from you so it'd be the threading tree the needle the yeah, yeah basically so you've got to go kind of like there-ish well that does sound like an iron riders thing to do i mean i'm still this does still sound exciting so i'm down to do it yeah all right can i we just do can I do a quick sense magic to make sure, that, like, is there anything having a, a magical presence? Um, can sensor feel presence of magic and can tell if source is near or far? I have a 120 foot area. Show me near. There, these hunting, these two hunting blinds pop up on that because they are invisible and powered by the ley line. Okay. Uh, basically, someone just has to touch them and pull the PPE from the ley line to keep them going. There is a number of other magical signals. PP. And every, pretty much you get a look at a person or two and you can see all of them have it. All of them have low level, uh, high levels of PPE for beings that don't have magic. And every now and then one of them will have a little stronger. PP. Okay. Something to think too is if we're going to be doing this and we're going to be lobbing bombs, should we just haul ass? I suspect that decision will be made for us very quickly as soon as we get in there. But no, yeah. but I mean on, on our vehicles. I mean, why be on foot if we could just... Because right. the vehicles probably aren't going to fit into the compound. Then so, yeah. we have to ditch mm -hmm. them. We don't the know vehicles will not fit into the compound. Yeah, all right. So the idea okay. is if we have them looking in three okay. directions at once, it means they're not looking at us as we yeah. move through. Right. Yeah. But this if we're right. driving a giant fuck-off tank through their village, they're going to notice us. I don't know, we're talking bombs, it got me a little excited. I, don't know. I know, I know. All right, that's fine then, yeah, let's do it. We we, we go wet works on this thing. Uh, yes. Alpha 2, Charlie Bravo, calling no in three coordinates for strike, over. What? Copy that, firing four effect. <laughs> <laughs> bomb the, bomb the, the red guy. <laughs> We all have code names in the Jack. Bomb the red guy. Paint the targets. <laughs> That's just saying. Red shirt. There's a red shirt right there. He doesn't need to be there. Can I use my I eye laser to paint <laughs> one that I now have? Yes. I pull okay. out a laser yes. pointer and point at one. And then you can then uh, transmit <laughs> that, that data. Right, right there. So they go, okay. Bam, bam, bam. Stand back. And you hear behind you the sound of what sounds like a small jet engine start to kick up. Samus. Sorry. Interesting. No, that's not the Samus. Is it a Samus? Oh, okay. Then you hear chunk chunk. Yes, the big and boy. Then 
you just see three explosions and about a quarter second later your ears are all but ringing as the two tree blinds and the and the statue of santa in the middle of town are covered in metal shards going Mach 5. Do I have ears? Is it a slow motion destruction of Santa Claus? Because that feels more epic. It's not. It's just an instant scene of Santa pretty much just ceasing to be. He's just (laughs) atomized. Where once there was Santa, there is no longer. (laughs) Uh, and, And then everyone can see coming at you all, like... Coming kind of to the side of where you are, you weren't standing directly between the artillery and. No, yeah, we wanted to distract. Be a little bit off the side. Um, You see just a giant. You see uh, the giant crocodile alligator called Swampy, and kind of from behind it, is a croc is some kind of watery crocodile or watery alligator that's like dripping. As it reaches over Swampy and its massive head comes up. It casts it suppress fear? This, uh, watery roar. It's like the sound of a tidal wave. Is it dripping mud? It is dripping water. It's made of mud and water. So it's a chocodile. Yes, it is <laughs> a it's delicious chocodile an, an no, with a caramel dial. center. Yes, okay. Uh, but sure. that thing isn't as long as Swampy, but it's about 100 feet long. Fuck me. <laughs> Christ. That, that is not a small alligator. Hey, hey right. Artemis, are you good at punching water? Please tell me there's a sign just like a few feet away from it that says, do not feed the alligators. Artemis is, uh, responds <laughs> with a grin and, and manifesting her size sword. There's actually yes. a number of signs that say alligator feeding and then list times. <laughs> because this used to be some kind of adventure park. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Where their main attraction was gators. All, All right. right. So I'm just going to say, let's go ahead and roll initiatives now. Oh, really? Right. Oh, just okay. to keep we, we my brain able... clear. Oh, okay. Just for me. Let me get that set up. Yes. Yeah. Initiatives. There we go. Boy. Oh, did I tag someone wrong? Boy. No idea. Sarah Space. All right. So <laughs> <I'm> a... <laughs> Fox, I beat you. <laughs> Okay, I don't mean... attach my ego to my initiative score, but okay. I, I got a 15. Oh! Wowie wowie wow. That's the highest oh, of the world. fired. Okay. My I'm mouse is that, being a uh, dick. Okay. My apologies. Also, you better. Mine's plus nine. Yours is plus 13. You get a whole extra point because of the way this thing tie breaks, in fact. You will always have an additional plus one. I am Wait, so... why? Because... Uh, it adds 0.01 times your initiative bonus in order to create a tiebreaker decimal point for this sheet. Oh, weird. So, as soon as you have a bonus over 10, that's just plus one to your initiative every single flat time. Okay, it did oh, work. Weird. Okay, cool. I didn't know that. Yeah. And hello. So I think I did pretty good, all things considered. I think you did pretty good, all things considered. I am <laughs> so okay with the fact that hello is last almost all things considered. every time. Every time. <laughs> every time. Jarvis, what's happening? I was- I don't Next up tonight, how can I have cleric speed when I'm not playing D and D and I'm not playing a cleric? I just you're always I'm always like a cleric 16. and I'm you know cleric speed. Sarsic goes before me. Pretty much every time. Pretty if much makes every you, time. Okay. If it makes Art. you feel any better, me and Sean are like bizarro characters and shouldn't be doing what we're doing. No. What I'm gonna do is basically do groups of until it breaks down into individual fighting. It'll be your group and then them. Huh. With And if people start talking over each other, then they will, if people are trying to do multiple things at once, initiative will... Then you kill us all. ...fall into place. Yes. Our stated goal is to avoid combat and get to the thingy, right? Okay. Everyone? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. I feel like that's yeah. always Hello's goal, but... uh. Now, now that being said... <laughs> I'm super okay with fighting Jack. a giant water crocodile. Okay, yeah, I'm just saying. On the way back out. <laughs> I don't want to, but I'm super okay with fighting a giant water gator. Water gator. Water he's not gator. saying that he will get eaten. He just says if he happens water to end gator. up in the belly of the beast, he's going to fight his way out. And I think that's reasonable, honestly. Or a swim my way out. Egged. Yeah. It's too late. Oh, well. Okay. So, uh, uh, explosions. the group of you are nope. going to start moving up, right? Now that those yes. blinds are thing, everyone is armed. And everyone is, you see, anytime you can see people, they seem to be pulling out some kind of weapon. And it's mostly boned, spiked things. 
Okay. Uh, you see a couple of tomahawks looking things that look like they're great for throwing. You see a couple of spears. You see what looks to be a stegosaurus tail on a long rod. Cool. And you see what seems to be like some kind of baseball bat filled with spikes. Ah. Harley Quinn was here. Cool. <laughs> That's what Accurate. happened to her. Oh, it's, it's, except <laughs> it's not made of wood. It's made of bone and then teeth jammed into it. Yeah. Oh, it's fucking you rad. Sure I love these Harley people. Quinn was here. Um, Bad news, they don't reciprocate. That's okay. I love them from afar. All right, so we're just going to do... Are uh, we doing prowls? Same as D&D. Everyone give me a prowl. Half mm -hmm. of you succeed. Wow, I super did a good job. I got a nine. I'm using my chameleon Holy shit. cloak. All right, then uh -oh. you get bonuses and stuff. Okay. All right. So I fucking go nice rando nice, nice, nice. Just... I need to roll for Riley. Okay. Prowl. That's cool. Zarsig is small. Riley does great on that, and that. Oh, there it <laughs> Riley does mess up, oh. but uh, it is close. En it's good enough that enough of you succeeded. My success is zero. <laughs> Way to go, Riley. <laughs> Riley. I will catch up, guys. <laughs> Shh. 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 All right, so you all start moving into uh, the town. You uh, get your way past the first, like, group of uh, lizard, well, uh, alligator people if without I too much my, trouble. If I turn my zoom up, they won't hear me. <laughs> Riley's like, do, do I have to shoot the, the, where, where's Don't. the zoom? Where's, just, I'll shoot the zoom. No. I think it's bulletproof. Don't worry about it. I'll right. shoot a fucking zoom. What are you doing? All right, uh, the group, you make your way past a, uh, the first seems to be group that kind of arm themselves and start looking around for trouble. They seem to have avoided you. Um, Iola seems to be making a bit of an, a big distraction on the other side of the camp as well. Let me look at her spells. There we go. Kevin, don't kill Iola. Well, that's my whole goal today. No. Um, uh, you break my heart. All right, dude, dude, you, do. you break your heart. <laughs> How dare? How dare? First yeah, of all, um, dare. Iola starts messing with some of the. Uh, now that the Santa thing has been hit, Iola starts making some of the bones on the tree come flying off. Awesome. Uh, while invisible. And Just causing a distraction <laughs> kind of the other way around town. All right, so uh, the army continues shelling. Um, any group where they have your basic, uh, they entered you as friends into the friend, the <laughs> friend and foe. So the missiles know not to hunt us. Yes. <laughs> oh jeez. Appreciated. Very. Because as as you start moving into town, you hear screaming of overhead jet and more jet engines as a bunch of golden samus with eagle faces come flying in with railguns blazing, laying down a covering fire. Uh, they seem to be clearing a bit of a path in your direction. Mm -mm. But they aren't, like, concentrating there. Good, They're going cover. through town just, like, taking out uh, groups that look like they are armed combatants. Their fire is very precise, but they have not started using missiles. Okay. As, as the Samus has come in and basically strafe three or four times and start flying in giant arcs. Fantastic. Uh, like the, giant, the giant watery alligator goes running out of town at about 30 miles an hour. <sighs> headed for the... Uh, oh. Headed for the source of the boom guns, which is about a mile away. Riley, can they handle that thing? Um, Shut it. probably not a confident answer, Riley. They got bigger guns than we do. They have a better chance. Yeah. But... It's eh. also going to take like a minute for it to get to them. They're soldiers. They know what they're doing. So they say... basically have a ton of time to just wail on this thing. Uh, just it's... real quick pause. Is anybody watching the stream right now? Anybody have that up on another browser window somewhere? 
I do. I am. Yeah. Well, what's I mean, up? Yes. Is it, is it are... there? Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah, it's there. Okay, so it. something yeah. weird is happening on my browser then. Okay, because it says we're offline yeah. and not streaming. Yep. Okay. All right. Yeah, no, I, I've been seeing that in the chat. I just yeah. reloaded and it says it's dead. Twitch oh, is having oh. a weird. We are. I can confirm we're still streaming. Really? Yeah. I'm. I'm watching it. Yeah, it's a Twitch. I, know, I was, but if you reload, anyhow. Oh no, that's weird. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, error. Please try again. It's working for me. Do you want to yeah. cut it and start it again? You yeah, know, it says it's offline for me because I restarted it. Yeah. Uh. All right. So if anybody is currently watching, we're going to attempt to stop and restart the Take stream a quick break. and see turn what happens. We're just going to turn it off and back on again. Sorry, the boom happens. guns knocked the stream off. Yeah, boom guns are real big. You shouldn't have made it so loud, Something Kevin. weird's happening. <laughs> 